Nathan Zagura here at First Energy Stadium where the Browns opened the preseason against the New Orleans Saints and Hugh Jackson stressed this wasn't any preseason game. It was a game he wanted to win. He didn't want the Browns to go over in the preseason again. He challenged his team to come through in the clutch and get the victory and that's exactly what they did with a 20 to 14 win over the Saints. And I'm sure the talk tomorrow will be all about rookie quarterback Deshaun Kaiser. Kaiser finished today 11 of 18 for 184 yards and a touchdown and had two highlight real throws. The first, a 52-yarder where he evaded pressure, climbed the pocket, and drilled Richard Mullaney down to the one-yard line. Terrence McGee punched it in for a touchdown on the very next play. And then with the Browns trailing by one, the two-minute warning approaching. It was Kaiser time once again. Facing third and 24 after two holding penalties, he drilled Rennell Hall with a 22-yard strike to set up a fourth and two at the Saints' 45-yard line. Again, the Browns only needed a field goal, but what did Hugh Jackson and Kaiser dial up? A bomb to Jordan Payton, the all-time leading receiver in the history of UCLA. Payton got a step. Kaiser launched a ball that was perfect and found Peyton about five yards deep in the end zone for what would be the game-winning touchdown after the Browns defense clamped down on the Saints' comeback attempt. All in all, a great performance by the rookie. Of course, he still has things to work on, held onto the ball a little too long, but you saw that tantalizing talent that had many thinking at one point Kaiser might be the first quarterback drafted in 2017. But the Browns coming through, Hugh Jackson has to be happy about that. And some of the stars in Berea continue to be stars today. Joe Schobert stepping in at that second team middle linebacker, had a big sack, a pass breakup, a couple of tackles. Trevon Coley, the young man that was formerly with the Ravens, now with the Browns, who's been a star in Berea, had a monster day forcing a fumble that was recovered by Carl Nassib, leading to Matthew Day's touchdown. And Day's, he kept running for Day's, had three catches and punched the ball in in short yardage for the Browns. All in all, a very good performance. Now they've got to clean up the penalties. There were too many of those, but Hugh Jackson has to be encouraged by the way his young team responded under pressure in the clutch to get a much needed victory and start this season on a positive note. For complete coverage of this game and all things Browns, keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app.